Hello and welcome to Nostalgia Vibe. Today we will look back at the 1972 American television show Sanford and Son. We will revisit the cast of the series and see how they changed over the years. I will also tell you some interesting or funny trivial facts you probably did not know. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Marlene Clark as Janet Lawson Nancy Culp as Mae Hopkins Nancy Culp died of cancer in 1991 at the age of 69. Lawanda Page as Aunt Esther Anderson Lawanda Page died of complications from diabetes in 2002 at the age of 82. Red Fox and Lawanda Page had been friends since childhood, and she was his first and only choice to play Esther, Fred's sister-in-law. Producers wanted to fire Page due to her inexperience on camera, but Fox threatened to quit the show if Page was fired. Don Bexley as Bubba Bexley Don Bexley died of heart and kidney failure in 1997 at the age of 87. Whitman Mayo as Grady Wilson Whitman Mayo died of a heart attack in 2001 at the age of 71. Nathaniel Taylor as Rollo Larson Nathaniel Taylor died of a heart attack in 2019 at the age of 81. This show has gone down in history as the show that killed the Brady Bunch. In 1974, both shows were on Friday nights at 8 p.m., with Sanford and Son on NBC and the Brady Bunch on ABC. The show beat the Brady's ratings for the entire 1973 to 1974 season until ABC pulled the plug. Lynn Hamilton as Donna Harris Hal Williams as Officer Smitty Smith Howard Platt as Officer Hoppy Hopkins Throughout the series, whenever Lamont threatened to move out, or things did not go Fred's way, he would clutch his chest and fake a heart attack, shouting variations of Hear That Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you. That running gag was blamed for Red Fox's death from a heart attack while filming the royal family. When he complained of chest pains, no one believed him until it was too late. Gregory Sierra as Julio Fuentes Gregory Sierra died of stomach and liver cancer in 2021 at the age of 84. Raymond Allen as Uncle Woodrow Woody Anderson 
Raymond Allen died of undisclosed causes in 2020 at the age of 91. Milne Pitlick as Officer Swanee Swanhauser. Milne Pitlick died of lung cancer in 1999 at the age of 66. On the show, Lamont Sanford and Rollo Lawson are best friends. In a 2015 interview with iloveoldschoolmusic.com, Damod Wilson said Nathaniel Taylor never liked him and they hadn't seen each other since 1977. Wilson said he and Taylor appeared to have good chemistry on screen because they were high most of the time. Red Fox as Fred G. Sanford Red Fox died of a heart attack in 1991 at the age of 69. Demond Wilson as Lamont Sanford. Arnold Johnson as George F. Hutch Hutton. Arnold Johnson died of renal failure in 2000 at the age of 78. Red Fox was a huge fan of the 1930s vocal group The Ink Spots and sang many of their songs on the show. The rights were so expensive NBC refused to buy them. Fox paid for them out of his own pocket. This show held the same time slot for its entire run, Friday nights at 8 p.m. on NBC. The character Fred Sanford was ranked number 42 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. The front of the Sanford house, which doubles as the entrance to the junk store, appears in the opening credits, but was never seen in any episode. It was located on Magnolia Boulevard in North Hollywood. It has since been renovated, and as of 2016 is a business called Power Plumbing. After the sixth season, Red Fox quit the show to do the variety show Red Fox on ABC. The series was set to continue with Demond Wilson as the lead, but Wilson left due to a salary dispute. The show was retooled and became Sanford Arms, but without any Sanfords on the show, it was cancelled after eight episodes.